Okay, so right off the mat, two in a row. You don't have to go to a third match. Three, no. two in a row. Yeah, two in a row. Two in a row. Okay. First off, how's the weight cut? Uh, it's good. It's it's a little challenging. I think people assume that I'm bigger than I am. Um, I'm really short. I get fat, but that fat comes off. Um, so I I made sure that I stayed focused in my diet. I worked out really hard. I started my diet early on, and I just came out here and I was. Sweating until the last workout. Great, great, uh, great weight cut. Performed well. I'm happy about it. Third trip to the Cadet World Championships. What have you learned from the past two that you think can help you this time around? Don't eat too much after weigh-ins. Every year I go there, I eat too much after weigh-ins, and I can't wrestle. Like I literally can't wrestle. My stomach hurts. My feet are heavy. And you know, since then I've had. I made 55 kilos twice, I made it at Youth Olympics, and I made it here, and it's been great both times, and I figured out my strategy, we're gonna carry that over the world, it's gonna be good. That's the battle between two future Big Ten wrestlers, that's something kinda going through your head before the match, so you could be battling him in college? No, yeah, um, definitely. We had, uh, we had a Cowboy, a Hawkeye, and a Mini Lion all in the same bracket, so I think we all took top three, too. So, you know, I'm looking forward to battling with all these guys in the future. Um, I just think the battle's gonna be fun. I mean, he's gonna come to um, Happy Valley and we're gonna battle and I'm gonna go to Carver Hawkeye as the enemy and we're gonna battle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a great time, I can't wait. What were keys for you in that series? Um, the first one, I knew he wasn't gonna do a lot. He's a very counter wrestler, he's really good. All the first one. But he doesn't initiate a lot of offense, so I knew I was gonna have to go get it, but I had to be careful and hold position because he's good at capitalizing off bad shots. And the first one, I was able to get to my low shots. Not really an issue, and the second one, he game plan. He's him and his coaches had a really good game plan. I was trying to get to my low shots, and he was picking up his feet every time I was shooting. Um, not even his whole leg, just his foot. So I was having trouble getting to my shots, um, and then I just had to adapt. Then it was just hard. Um, he stopped my game plan. He stopped my like attacks. My head pinch. Same stuff. Never shied away from competition. Him and I, Andy and I were talking. You had like three, maybe three losses in the high school season. Your schedule is always incredible everywhere you've always gone. Your Penn State schedule is going to be incredible. You challenge yourself in the off season. Yeah. What, there's a lot to be said. Why do you try and seek out the best competition all the time, no matter the season? Because that's how I train. I wrestle and train in truly what I believe is the best club in New Jersey, at least. Um, we have multiple guys, um, state champions, multiple guys who have been in this tournament placed. We have a top, I think we have like eight or nine wrestlers going D1 right now. Um, and that just speaks to, you know, my lifestyle. And I go out and I train with the best kids, so why would I not go and prove the country that I'm, I can beat the best kids out here too? Because I know I can. And it's just about, you know, believing in myself because I, I've competed in high level events and I've done well and I have no reason to doubt myself. A lot of the guys that'll be teammates on this Cadet World team are going overseas for the first time and competing at a world championship for the first time. What kind of things can you tell them that will be helpful for them? It's not a vacation. It's a wrestling tournament. We're going everywhere to battle. I made that mistake my first time. My first time was Greece. It's like a vacation spot. Um, it's like, wow, I'm in Greece. It's just cool. And maybe I'll do some wrestling. But no, wrestling and then whatever. Um, so just stay focused. Stay focused on the task at hand. And um, you know, if you do that and you wrestle hard, you wrestle. If you wrestle the way you do here, you'll be fine. This is. In some ways, this is tougher than some rapids in the world. So if you wrestle the way you wrestle here, your whole heart, effort, everything. Are the cornrows going with you to the world championships? We'll have to see. Um, to be honest, I thought they were going to fly out like my first match. Um, shout out Sandy McLean. She did my hair, my best friend's mom. Um, but I don't know. We might, have, we might have to stick with them. I don't know. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Robert.